Chapter 32. Amending the most recent commit. Mistakes happen. Fortunately, Git has various ways that you can fix mistakes, big and small, after the fact. A common mistake is a typo in the commit message, or perhaps you forgot to add one particular file to the staging area before committing. In a situation like this, the command git commit dash dash amend is your friend. Amend is spelled A-M-E-N-D. It allows you to update the most recent commit, or more accurately, the commit that currently has the head label on it. To illustrate this, I've initialized a brand new repository with git in it, and I've added and committed one file. If we look at the commit log, we can see only one commit. However, and this is a bit embarrassing, for my first commit message I wrote my first commit, when it should have been my first commit. It's not that big a deal perhaps, but I don't want my first commit to forever be plagued by a typo in the commit message. Fortunately, I can amend the commit by running the command git commit dash dash amend dash m and then between quotes my first commit, which is our new commit log message. I can choose to pass the new commit message in the command using the dash m flag as I just did, or I can just let git open an editor for me to write the commit message. However way we decide to go, if we run git log again, we can see that the commit message has been updated and our typo is fixed. We can also see that the commit date has not changed, which goes to show that we did not somehow create a new commit and replace the old one. Instead, we updated the existing commit with a new commit message. However, if we pay even closer attention, you can see that the commit message is not the only thing that has changed. The commit ID has also changed. Which should not come as a surprise, because in chapter 6 we learned that Git uses the commit data, the order, the date, and the log message as input to create the commit checksum. So when we change the commit's log message, the commit checksum will also change. There is no way around that. This brings us to an important point to take into consideration whenever you are tempted to go and change something about Git's history. Important enough to warrant its own chapter.